friends, LD vegan. Spinach salad today. Um, a similar version I made the other day, recently. I, today I add the cress, well, a garden cress. That is, there is, there are different kinds. That's the special ingredient today for my spinach salad. Uh, you can buy these boxes here. In boxes they sell them oftentimes in the supermarket. And these little square boxes, rectangle boxes. And I take a whole box, cut um, these little sprouts off with the shears or also with a knife. Here, That's what they look like. They have wonderful um, uh, flavor. They have sharp flavor like radishes. And they come from the um, cruciferous vegetable family. Cruciferous vegetables, they, they grow the blossoms the, the, from the petals um, when they sprout crosswise. That's why, that's why they're called cruciferous. And they have a family that is known for uh, special cancer-fighting ingredients like sephorophane they build in broccoli and cauliflower, cabbages and radishes and mustard also, uh, mustard seeds. These are very healthy plants, have a very sharp flavor, and we can use the, the garden cress, for example, in the, as a seasoning almost, like an herb. And I like that a lot. Um, I have a spinach salad today. Here, spinach is a very simple ingredient for a salad. It's a young spinach, you see, not too large, the leaves. And I wash them, of course, here. See still the bottoms here? That's okay when they are so clean. I wash it and I dry it in a bit. Salad spinner, cut it just here with a chef knife in bite-sized pieces. Very simple. Put them into a salad bowl like that. And the spinach are tender leafy greens. That's what we call these leaves, tender leafy greens, dark leafy greens. That's the healthiest food we have for us. And um, as they are tender, I cannot use too heavy ingredients or too heavy a dressing on top. So tomatoes are perfect for that. Uh, the other spinach salad was always made, also made, made, made with, uh, with tomatoes. Here I have these. They are really delicious. I found these. Yeah. They're always different in the, in the shops where I get them, but these are really delicious. I was surprised. They have a wonderful tomato flavor. Yeah, it's not so easy to get <laughs> oftentimes, but it's getting better. Tomatoes are getting better. I put some, I just cut them in quarters. They have these long bottle uh, shapes, these tomatoes. And I have a red onion this time. That's a difference also from the last time. I have white. There's a red onion. I just chopped it. Uh, that's also a different if you chop them or thinly slice them in the ringlets and of course um, the watercress the garden cress uh, garden cress on top here and so that's all I, all I need today and I have, um, make it a little bit so that everything can be evenly spread and then before I put the dressing on top it's a sour cashew dressing. I've showed you sometimes before, shown you sometimes before, since I've asked some of the salads. I, I would toss it before because uh, when the dressing is on top of it, the, the, the tender ingredients, as the leaves or um, the sprouts here, they can stick together even more. And it's easier to do that, to, to toss that before the dressing is on top, uh, to, to combine everything evenly. I show you what I'm talking about can see that pretty clearly. Now, here all the ingredients are evenly spread almost, you see here. There are not some nests here, evenly spread everywhere. Maybe you can see that yeah, here also. Otherwise, when you have these nests, <laughs> for example, of the, of the sprouts, then you can hardly get them out uh, and spread them once the dressing is on top. So that's an easy thing to do. I just do it ahead of time uh, before I put the dressing on top. And now my dressing, as I said, this is the sour cashew dressing. How to make that, I show in another video. It's called, it's linked under this video. It's cashews, apple cider vinegar, pepper, salt, a little bit garlic and water. And when I do that, I store the dressing in the refrigerator in a sealed container like this. And um, <clears throat> I can 
and quickly make a salad any time, like now, uh, and then put it back into the refrigerator. And I can also, like in this case, when I make the light leaves, the tender leafy greens, I can just add a little bit more water you know, to make it lighter. Could say, can, that can also be a very thick and creamy dressing, but I can also make it lighter with more water, a little bit more salt, vinegar, whatever you like. I can easily change the texture of this dressing. Um, that also makes it very universally usable. See, you see, it's runny now. I put a little bit on top. I don't need that much. The, the spinach has a wonderful nutty flavor, very tender, gentle flavor, I mean. Oftentimes, a green salads have a bitter flavor. That is not so easy to make them delicious, but with the spinach, that is too, super easy. Super duper easy. <laughs> yeah, okay, very, you don't need that much dressing. You can have the spinach leaves, you can eat them by themselves. They're very nice. Yeah, that's all I enjoy. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like, like my video, subscribe, MDV on YouTube. Have another recipe every single day and find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter.